Good evening and welcome back to Factory Town. Last episode, we got the train delivery service working and doing well, and then we found a bug. We found a problem with the process and we need to fix it. So this is our train that's supposed to deliver raw chicken from uh, there to here, correct? Yes, here. It doesn't deliver the chicken because there's nothing on the train. So if this is empty, if this up here is empty completely, and there's no raw chicken in here, a train will come along, we'll go, well, I can't get any chicken, so I'll drive off, and it will go down whatever track is supposed to go down. In this case, it goes down track number four. It comes down track number four here, but instead of going down here, um, and uh, end up down here and uh, uh, delivering to here and then going, oh, well, I've got nothing, so I'll come back and I'll go into it. It just skips it because we've put these in here that say um, we're only allowed to have item crates here. Um, if the train, so basically, if the train has something, because I've set these filters to item crates, then it'll come down there. If the train's empty, it won't go down there. And the reason for that is that trains might need to come past here to get something. So uh, they might need to. Uh, come along track four for whatever reason to get something and come back again however i don't actually think that's the case i don't think that's gonna happen um i'm, tr I'm trying to try to run through every scenario in my head where that may come along so so four never delivers to four so this is not going to happen here so what would come along here that might need to go somewhere that wouldn't have anything that wouldn't the right what, what would go so this is this is producing um okay let's let's make it up a scenario just see what's going there so this produces wool okay um which i think we do, are going to do it somewhere actually uh the wool comes down here the wool needs to go to um not four but needs to go somewhere else so say it has to go to uh the lost town it has to go to eight so it would come from here the wool pickup would come out to track eight and go along and then from track eight would come all the way along here do come off here this is where track eight's delivery is going to be it comes back in and then it would end up back down onto track whatever and come along so I can't see a scenario where something that is going to track four maybe the drop-offs maybe the drop-offs what about these so what if we had um uh to do, do, do um right what's so this is one two what's 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 number five going to be what, what is what is speciality number five going to be let's have a quick look here so uh one two there we go. uh one two three four we're not doing commerce five so five is industry so we might well have pickaxes being made for instance and um reinforced planks reinforced planks would definitely be being made and we might sell reinforced planks Okay, reinforced planks are a thing that sells to the hardware store here, but they are they're sellable items, so we might have those. So that's track five, that's up here. So town five, which is this one, uh, makes the reinforced planks, it comes back and it wants to deliver to town number four. So it will come down track number four, it will come along here, but instead of going down this one, we want it to carry on to here. So, we would say that this, hmm, I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking maybe we should move this to be the opposite side and have this track, the, the onboarding track for, for to whatever town it is, come all the way down, come along here, and then come back again. 
it's a longer distance for them to travel, but it's safer because that means this track only goes down there, which means we can actually cut off the track to the side of this and go, yeah, a train, a train's, a train might come down here and go this way. And it will only come this way to go down there. It will never, it will never come down this track. It will never come along here. That's uh, right, along the top track. It will never, it will never come head on to this train here, which means we no longer need that this piece of track because this piece of track will never get used. So I need the clockwise track for half the ramp, half the system. And the anti-clockwise track of a half system. But I kind of want to leave it as it is. Because it makes it makes sense. It makes sense. We might also have stuff coming out and coming along here that's going somewhere else. I mean, if it's on track four, it shouldn't do that, but yeah. So if we were to move these to be that end, have the track go down and around and drop off there. That means all trains must come down here. So even if they're empty. It doesn't matter. They will come down this track here. They will do the thing. They will come back up and they will end up on whatever track they want to go to. So they'll never pass this and go along. And that would be a good fail safe for everyone. Everyone will always have whatever. If it's on its track, if it's on track four, it should go down here. It should end up going down this track along to this one and then it will come back again up here and then reset itself where it's going. So that will fix the other problems here. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. I was also thinking about maybe uh, we could build this here and have trains divert down and come back in but then you, you never know what else might be along here by doing this every train should down here and i can't think of a scenario where a train would be on track number four and have to go past here because if it's on track number four this is where it's going to this is the only point it needs to go to this this is it this is the only place it needs to go to that i can think of um No, no, that's completely wrong. That's completely wrong. Hold on, we've got we've got the pickups as well, haven't we? Yes, we've got the pickups as well. So, right, let's let's look at this one here. I stopped that train, so let's not worry about it. So this this will go along to where does this train go? Where does this train go? This train goes to number one. So it will come along for number one. Jump. We'll pick up. Sorry, we'll drop off flower. Uh, animal feed. Blah. Then it comes back along. Hits track number four. This is the one. So this hits track number four, comes along here, comes down here, and the train is empty. So that's why it has to skip these. That's why it has to skip these. Okay, so the only way I can actually do this then is to filter these. I have to filter these to store whatever items we're delivering down here. Every single item we're delivering down here needs to be stored down here because you can't. So, yeah, see? You are um, the cooked fish, cooked, cooked whatnot train, and you are trying to get to um, here to pick up for someone else. So yeah, so you'd have to have that. So that means you would have to have everything on there because if you're only full of items, you should deliver. Also, um, another thing that I've just just noticed as well that wouldn't go wrong. What if this train actually have stuff still on it? Well, it does. It has. Um, Ah, but it's only tagged to one, so it wouldn't come down because it's not tagged to four. Uh, hold on, hold on then. So if you're not tagged to four, uh, you come on here, you are tagged to four, so you would come down here if we didn't have an item crate filter on this, so. Okay, so I need to tag these with every item that's down here. Which is, yeah, yeah annoying, but oh well. So, um, grain, coal, raw, beef, raw, raw, raw beef, raw fish, and raw chicken. That's what you need to be tagged with. Not item crates, so that's not going to work. So, uh, grain, holding shift, control, uh, raw chicken, raw beef, raw fish. Copy, paste. Okay, so I've put you back here. Even though you're empty, uh, go. Okay. 
yeah, you'll come down and that'll, that'll still work. Okay, so that is the only way we can do it. I'm, try, I'm trying to think of a more clever way to do it. Um, and I can't. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and I can't, there's no, there's no cleverer way I can think of doing it at all. Um, we've just literally got to have this tag to be the correct, the correct thing. So this is grain, so this will come down. Um, but of course, because these are not tagged to uh, animal feed, then the animal feed here will um, not come down here. So, yeah, yeah. That's going to be the only way I can think of doing it. So the raw chicken one's going to come back. It's going to end up here. It's going to actually get some raw chicken this time. Because you can, which is nice. Um, and then we get some raw chicken we ended a bit. And the raw chicken will come along to here and end up in here. We have fish now in here. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Um, our caravan here is still... It's taking a long time to empty this out. So I, I, I didn't mean to make this really. But um, it makes sense that it's got so much going on in it. So, but uh, the caravan is going to pick up as much as it can from here um, and do that. And then this is flour. And I'm going to leave the flour in here because I think we will need flour later for baking cakes. Um, so, but I'm not sure. So let's, let me scroll down here. The uh, actual kitchen does a lot, does a lot of stuff. So um, look at this, look, barely fits on the screen. Whoa. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so um, yeah, you need flour to make cake, but cake isn't made here, it's made of artistry, so we need to export flour. That will be a thing that comes out of this, so cool. Okay, so we do need um, this here, so I do need that top one enabled, but the difference is we don't want that. Um, we want to come out of there and uh, come along here to um, a flower, a flower delivery service. So, um, and again, I've put things in really awkward places, uh, but it's not, not, it's not the end of the world. So let's, um, do that twice all the way down. Don't want to do it at the end there. Don't need to do it there either, really. Um, I think I might just do this one because it's, cause it's nearby. Because <laughs> it's nearby, we'll do that one. Uh, and then what we'll do is we will run... Uh, well, I mean, it can just come out too high from here. That's not a problem for it at all. enable that one there it gives us flour awesome okay you will empty eventually of bread uh, you're just delivering little bits at a time and selling and then once you're done we will get another two caravans and we will grab from um i think we'll grab from here from this station and deliver up to there to this station which means it's going to be moving 200 worth of goods but that's okay that doesn't doesn't really hurt us anyway let's um let's copy this guy and let's make three of them uh one two and three um or actually no i see what we'll do we won't make three of them we'll just make two of them we'll make two of them and we'll filter you we'll filter you with uh good chicken cooked beef good fish and nothing and we'll go will you pick up and will you drop off? And then we'll click on you and we'll go into the uh, tasks and we will go hold until empty. So I'll pick up from there, it'll drop off in there and it will then probably break down everything because no, I don't want to hold until empty. Um, no, don't hold, don't hold until empty. No. Uh, because what if um, the the beef runs out, but the chicken and fish are still full. We don't want that, so. There we go. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Awesome. 
Oh, you're gonna live to there, which means you're living to there, which means you're now selling all the stuff. So look at our houses go. Doop. This should fill up to 100% now. I think there was enough deliveries. It, it's boxes as well, so we're delivering four at a time. Um, so it's not just, you know, the standard ones got on there, although I don't think that got anywhere near enough uh, stuff to do everything you wanted to do, but that's okay. Uh, you're not outputting fish. That makes sense because I didn't attempt that because I told it not to output fish. So let's change the bread back to be fish. Fish. And let's put a. Uh, another one in there and make you bread. There we go. So we can sell all the goods. Is that right? Oh yeah, but you've got a bit of bread in here, so that's why. That's, that'd be okay, that'd be okay. This is fine, this is fine. Dum, 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 dum. Empty, 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 and there we go, boom. This can deal with four items at once, that's absolutely fine. Uh, awesome, okay, so that should fix the problem. We just have to do a little bit more work here. I was trying to be lazy and do as little work as possible. Uh... Yeah, yeah, that should be fine. Even the coal one should be fine. Won't, won't be a problem with coal, because coal's not going to drop off anywhere else other than there. So that'll be fine. That'll be fine. We're doing it. We're doing it. We are doing it. Awesome. 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 So, um, what's next? What's the next thing we need to do? Uh, get rid of this thing in the center here, because this is just completely pointless now. So, let's move this town over and out of the way. Let us use our grabby demolition tool, and I will grab everything within the bounds of the four ways there, and go delete, which is going to do. A lot of stuff, okay. Delete you, delete you, come down here, delete you. There we go. And then we have to delete this guy. And we have to go underground. Um can I select columns on the ground? Hmm. No. No I cannot. Okay. Increase radius of deletion and just do this. Yadi 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 yadi. There we go. Um, mana pipe. Oh, steam pipe. Sorry, this is steam pipe. Oh, I forgot. We got steam. Uh, that's something we need to figure out pumping around, but that really shouldn't be a problem, if I'm honest with you. Um, okay, there's no mana pipes enough, and, and there's no. Oh, there is some mines. Let's uh, also get rid of those. Okie dokie, okie dokie, cool, 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 there's still something there apparently. What is there? A steam pipe? Hmm, well, I think that's just a, a visual thing. Okay, okay, right, so yes, so what is the next thing on our agenda? Well, the next thing on our agenda, we, we just, we want to run through these. Basically, we want to run through these. So the next thing on our agenda is we figure out what we're going to sell for hardware. So the maximum hardware happiness level is four, which means we only need to deliver items that add up to four in total. You can add, you can deliver more to make money, but you don't gain additional happiness bonus from it. Hence why with the basic food, we're only delivering three, the fish, the chicken and the beef, the bread we're just getting rid of, we just, that will be gone soon. So we could sell pickaxes and reinforced planks. Not a problem. Not a problem. However, I mean, that's, that's the obvious one because it's two and two, so that's it. But you have to kind of counter, um, count in the fact that the, the pickaxes also use reinforced planks. And pickaxes are used to deliver to mines to speed up mining. So if we did pickaxes, we'd have to double up on the pickaxes. We don't need two train stations for it. That's fine. We can have just one train station, um, but we'd have to double up on the production and we'd have to, well, double up on reinforced planks because reinforced planks are used elsewhere. They're used in construction for us as well. So we I think they're using construction for us. I might be wrong on that. I'm not sure. Um, but um, they are used to make pickaxes. 
they're used to make uh, something else that I can't remember the name of now. Um, I think they're used to make, yeah, they used to make wards as well. Um, so they want to go around. I think they made they used somewhere else, but I can't remember what else it is they used in. I'm sure they used we we used them for building. I'm sure there is a building um, that needs reinforced planks. Yeah, look like the uh, the machine shop needs reinforced planks. Uh, the mage tower wants reinforced planks. Uh, the packages need reinforced planks. So we're going to have to store them ourselves. So the in industry area is going to have to have one making reinforced planks and just storing it in its town center. So we have them ourselves as well. Uh, we also need stone brick as well. So um, that, that has to come from mining. Yes, mining. Uh, so if we went with that, that'd be fine. But then what about the other? What about, what about? Uh, so that needs nails. And so, so let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's just, just work on that and start at the end and work our way forward. So let's go with the pickaxe. The pickaxe is made in the mining or the industry town. Um, okay, the uh, iron ingots are made in mining, processing, or industry, and the reinforced plank is made in industry. So, what if we went and made it in industry? What does industry do for us? Let's go and grab our main town, which I should put back in the center somewhere. Um, I've actually lost where the center is of the map now, but it's easy because this is all this is all fine. Um, let's go with status uh, update industry industry here. So this is industry. So this can make quite a lot of stuff. Um, so farming can't make any tools. Forestry can make axes, and axes doesn't actually require. Um, um, the um, is there a there a goods there's a goods list and i can pin the goods list yes i can pin the goods list so we can leave that open and i can click on this uh, we can go back to here Oop. and then we can mouse down here and be like industry right axes okay so fine axes blah, blah, blah. put it in order of name um oh what's it called it's called a lumber axe isn't it i bet nope i mean it's sellable so Wood axe, called a wood axe. <laughs> uh, requires iron ingot and a plate. So that does require the ingots. The ingots can only be made in industry, I believe. Although in, uh, they can be made in mining. I'm trying to figure out uh, what I want to put where. Mining is going to be pretty much used up. The the whole mining area, so this is the one intended, is going to be pretty much used up. Um, so if we go to mining and we look at this, so we've got Stone, coal, mana, iron, gold, uh, firestone, earthstone, airstone, and waterstone um, being made. So that's nine. That's nine items there. Um, so we, yeah, we that's, that's nine items we're gonna need there. Now we know we need coal and iron doubled up. So that's um so that's 11 items we have there that's that's just with the the stuff we want that's 11 different items we've got 16 in here so it's not too bad we could put one in each and then like do two iron and two coal is that what i did here i think i did one iron and one coal didn't i Hold on, that's iron yeah that's iron that's coal and i think i might have a second iron and coal here so this one's iron that's iron and this is coal two irons two coals just to um uh, make sure because coal is used a lot and iron is used a lot Iron can't be processed in um, the mining area. Yes, it can be processed in the mining area. Maybe we could process it directly here rather than sending it off to industry because I was thinking industry is where we have to go with it. Uh, the reinforced planks, uh, they are only made in industry, so we'd have to send them off to industry. So maybe we do... Uh, mining so we do the nine different areas the nine different mining areas and then so nine areas what we've got here we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty if we did the outside ones 
I'm, I'm pretty sure that um, iron ingots are used a lot as well. So we'd want a lot of that processing that. So we could go two of each. So we do two coal, two iron. Um, although they're going that way, aren't they? So really I should have had two coal and two iron like this. But um, it's fine, two coal, two iron. And then we do two more here, two more here, 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 here. Do, do like that so we so we having uh so this is one this is one this is one this is one that one that one that one that one so we've got one two three four five six five six seven eight nine ten and that's the ten well we only need nine mining areas but yeah so then we could do we could do that and then on the ends we could put the ingots in there And stone brick as well, we could possibly do. There's gold as well. I wouldn't mind putting the gold here as well. We'll do one stone brick, one gold, two iron, and the pickaxe can be made elsewhere. The pickaxe can go off and... Uh, um, be made in industry. Industry's got a fair bit to it, but then we'll be shipping the industry, we'll be shipping the um, pickaxes back to here. Um, to do stuff, so I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that um, stone and stone brick I want coming into the town center. We want them stored in the town center. Uh, pickaxes I would also like stored in the town center because we want them because we're going to need pickaxes for doing the underground mining because you need pickaxes to do that. Also, I think you need pickaxes to. Uh, yeah, they require 10 down here in the bottom left corner. They require 10 to make themselves. So so if we did that, that'd be fine. We're going to ship the iron plates out. <clears throat> so we'd want to make... Um, and then we'd ship the pickaxes back in because these can use pickaxes to regenerate stuff underground. However, however, on the flip side to that, we can't plant stuff underground. You can't do... You can't you can't plant stuff. You plant stuff above ground and you've managed to do it. So I don't need to make pickaxes here. No. However, iron plates make sense. And then gold and stone brick make sense as well. So that's what we're gonna do here. Okay. Okay. Right. So that means the pickaxes are actually gonna be made. So I'm running around in circles, but I hope you can see the thought process here where, where I'm trying to place things because I don't want to overload one town with everything and then be like, oh, there's no more space to put there. And then another town's got like three things to make. So I want to try and balance them out. So I need to figure out what's going where. Um, so the pickaxes will be made in industry. Where is industry town? What is industry town? What number is industry town? Um, how do we, that's not a town. That's why I can't figure it out. Uh, uh, so one, two, three, four, ignore five, six five industries town five okay that's this town over here so i need to clear the area i need to expand this out over here boop boop um so we said we need to move the trading posts uh this will take gold and produce magic cloaks not really worth it oh my god let's look at this one we've looked at those before i'm sure there's ones i've said that were good and bad and ugly and i don't even know what i've done here so uh, animal feet of bread is a no. Sandwich for cloth is definitely a no. And gold for iron. Not really, but that's one for ten. That's not bad trade, but no, we're not doing that. I really feel like I should have turned trading posts off. Um, it would have made rails more difficult because we are using a trading post to get loads of rails for free. Um, but I feel with the town design that I'm doing, I should have turned trading posts off. So I might go around and just um, let's let's do that now. Let's do that now. Let's go into the uh, editor, um, edit rules, global rules, creative mode on. Right, pause the game, and I'll set these. And I'm just going to delete, delete. I'm just going to get rid of them. I'm not even going to look at them. I'm just going to pretend like we don't have trading posts. I know some of them had good patterns in them, and I was like, well, maybe, it but it 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 does not conform to our plan. So let's just get rid of them. Them, them. with one exception obviously with one exception we're gonna need one exception in this one um 
And that's purely just for ease. I, I, we could have built things and had the trains doing this stuff to make the trains tracks. I will do that. We will absolutely be making tracks internally um, for ourselves. Uh, so this won't have to run all the time, although it's completely full now. So it's um, actually storing a lot. Um, but um, uh, I will make tracks in inner inner places in, in in town as well, so we can get rid of this and actually actually shut it down. So um, let's just get rid of all of the training posts. As I said some of them are good, I know, but um, I kind of just I should disable them. I should disable them at the start. They can be really useful, um, uh, and maybe that could even be a very interesting challenge. You could do. You could go right. I could only do uh, training posts. You know, um, make up some. Thing somewhere of, um, um, I don't know, you can only only sell, uh, you can only make stuff that's for yellow coins and then you have to use trading posts for everything else and see whether you complete the game just by trading. Um, would we'll make up some very interesting um, spaghetti patterns everywhere, but um, yeah. Um, okay, so that's that. Let's uh, then go up here and let's just remove all the resources. Be gone, gone, delete them, delete them all. We have an infinite map. We can get more. We do not need them. Be gone. We also need to make sure I make this big enough as well. Um, and also, there's a question. There's a question. Do I actually have to move this? Um, I think I do. I think I do. I think we need to move this town out a bit. Um, because... Uh, Flatten down all this. Oop. And then flatten down over here as well. Not, I think we need to come this far, but just in case. Um, we might have to come out this far. Uh, because um, we need to put in this much here between these two tracks here. Now, we, we did shorten the tracks um, to make it smaller anyway. Uh, and there should only ever really be one train delivering to these at once, so this could be even shorter as well. Um, but if we went with this, so let's um, grab uh, that. I don't need that many of them, but yeah. Um, and we want to put that there. So that has to be leveled with the outside wall there. That actually means that this outside wall needs to be there it needs to come back by one whole tile so this needs to be moved this try again uh needs to be moved to there so that we can i keep pressing tab don't mean to do that so we can put this here like this yep okay okay so that's how far else it needs to be away from the edge there right okay i'm going to run the outside track um and then we will come back next episode and we will start working on pickaxes because uh we really need to get those done so thank you very much for watching everybody i hope you have enjoyed this one and i do hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun not a ford oh because the game is paused which means nothing's moving oops there we go <laughs>